Hello friends, you are watching a Rudire Plus, the professional CAD CAM solution provider. Let's get started. Hello friends, today I'll show you safety particle study and optimization technique using suitable example with SOLIDWORKS Pro Simulation. In this example, we have considered one garbage collector. This is the input end. From here, we'll be collecting some small particles of aluminum at a specific speed and it will be accumulated at the bottom side of this collector and throughout this collection some particles will be going out from this output end which is connected with the atmospheric air so throughout this collection maximum particles will be collected at the bottom surface and some particles will be going out from this space using this particle study we have to determine the velocity at which all the particles will be collected at the bottom surface initially we will conduct this simulation with a normal velocity and check the status of these different particles at the bottom and the top surfaces and next one with different velocity will try to iterate and get the optimum results okay so let us start this one we are starting from flow simulation and the flow simulation environment will be initiated with the wizard itself the default project name is project 4 and the unit system we are considering as SI system temperature will be degree centigrade next it will be an internal analysis and in this case we are not considering heat conduction in solids definitely gravity will be involved and the direction of gravity we can say it will be y so along y direction it will be minus 9.81 meter per second square and along z direction it will be zero next initially we will consider the gas as air next one as a particle study we will select aluminium we are considering air next default wall thermal conditions and roughness we are taking thermodynamic parameters it will be atmospheric temperature will be 20 degrees centigrade and pressure will be 10125 pascal let us freeze this one this is the computational domain let us hide this part and apply boundary conditions for applying boundary conditions it is always suggested to have a segmented view of this model so we can cut this model across the front end when check it is cut along front plane now we can apply boundary conditions as per what you comment on specific locations boundary conditions insert boundary condition the leads have already been provided it is a closed geometry now we can apply uh, inlet velocity of air at this location at a specific rate let us provide inlet velocity 60 meter per second thermodynamic parameters it will be 20 degrees centigrade and atmospheric pressure let us select that location selected so at this inlet location I will be forcing inside at a speed of 60 meter per second next one another boundary condition that means exit location we have to provide boundary conditions insert boundary condition it will be atmospheric pressure at the top location select and green check so both the boundary conditions have been applied properly in this case we don't want to get any kind of holes in this analysis we are not bothered about these cut plots regarding velocity temperature pressure etc our aim is to have minimum numbers of particles to be going out from this top surface when you see at which velocity we have maximum numbers of particles to be settled at the bottom surface initially you have to see the dynamics of this flow particles and then by seeing the dynamics of flow particles we can vary the velocities to have a desired amount of accumulation at the bottom surface okay so we don't want any kind of goals at this moment let us run this new calculations run solve window has already started meshing mesh preparation is going on let the iterations move on whenever it is finished we'll see the results and go for further particle studies iterations are over the solver is finished now we can see our results but our main aim is to see the dynamics of flow of particles we are not bothered about cut plots so our task is to find the dynamics of flow particles we'll see from flow trajectories insert flow trajectories And instead of 20 numbers, let us make this one as 
60 and instead of pipes what you see in the form of spheres of diameter 0 0.02 meter let us select that location this is the location green check particle study is running we can see how the particles are moving from that location better to see this one in the form of an animation particles studies let us run this you can see that at 60 meter per second velocity lot of particles are going out right and some particles are being accumulated at the bottom surface so this is visible from the flow trajectories next one we'll move on to particle study and find out how many particles are going out instead of air particles we'll select uh, aluminum particles of specific dimension okay let us close this part flow trajectories clear and hide next one we'll move on to particle studies let us select a particle study wizard and we are providing the name of this one as particle study at 60 meter per second this is the velocity next instead of 20 numbers of particles we want to make 100 numbers of particles in order to have the percentage of particles which is going out and to be accumulated let us take the particle size as 0.301 meter this one will be constant throughout this analysis instead of liquids we want to take aluminium so it will be solids and aluminium we are considering as particles and we can provide a specific mass for it of 1 kg per second you have to select that location for this injection it will be injected from this location next it will be accretion that means particles will be accumulated at the bottom surface next we want ideal reflection that means after accumulation at the bottom surface the particles will move with the same velocity next we want trajectories and statistics next let us run this one we are running the particle study with aluminium particles let us see the injection play you can see how the particles are going out and how the particles are being accumulated at the bottom surface right it is going on very smoothly at 60 speed some particles are being accumulated and some particles are going out mm. now we have to find out how many particles are going out okay so for that we have to go for surface parameters insert surface parameters and we want to see the numbers of particles to be accumulated at the top surface right so we have to select the numbers of particles from here numbers of particles when you see only numbers of particles to be accumulated at the top surface right so top surface should be selected you can select top surface from here you have to select that surface from where particles are going out it is phase number two let us show it is showing that at the top surface 26 numbers of particles are going out as we have selected 100 numbers of particles and you can see that 26 numbers of particles are going out from the top surface okay next one what we'll do is next one we'll change the velocity of this mass for it and we'll see how many particles are going out from the top surface our aim is to have minimum numbers of particles to be going out from the top surface you can see at 60 meter per second 26 numbers of particles are going out and 74 numbers of particles are accumulated at the bottom surface okay so next we will go for another simulation with a different velocity let us clear this part clear and hide this particle study and you have to go for new study with a different velocity inlet velocity edit definition before it was 60 meter per second next one we will make 
let us make this one 40 meter per second go and check and surface parameter also we have to hide it clear and hide these surface parameters also we can remember at 60 meter per second numbers of particles going out was 26 numbers so we can hide this part now with the new velocity of 40 meter per second let us run this let us run a new calculation run solver has already started iterations calculations are going on mesh preparation and calculations are going on solver is finished now you can see your results actually we are bothered about dynamics of flow particles we don't want to see the flow trajectory so actually we want to see the particle studies so particle studies now we can go for new particle study particle study 2 we can provide this name as particle study at 40 meter per seconds let's run this one injection insert injection instead of 20 numbers we want to have 100 numbers as before and the size will be again same 0.301 meter diameter and instead of liquids it will be aluminium with a diameter 0 0.301 meter and again mass flow rate will be also same it will be 1 kg per second we have to select the location for this entry of this aluminum particles selected grand check now we can play this injection particle study 2 at 40 meter per second let us run this and now we can play this injection in this case you can see fewer numbers of particles are being eliminated out and maximum particles are being accumulated at the bottom surface right and from the surface parameters you can see how many particles are going out of this container so surface parameters insert phase one we should clear and you have to select that location from which all the particles are going out let us select that location from this location some particles are going out we have to find from here we have to select the numbers of particles let us show in this case you can see only 13 numbers of particles are going out from this garbage accumulator initially we could say that at 60 meter per second 26 numbers of particles are going out now at 40 meter per second 13 numbers of particles are going out from this garbage collector okay let us close this part next we have to provide different velocity let us close this part and clear and hide this injection by the same time we want to clear and hide the surface parameters also next one we have to simulate this one with a different speed or different velocity we will do this from the boundary condition itself inlet velocity 1 let us edit this part now instead of 40 numbers we will make it 20 meter per second green check let us run this one with a new calculation solver window has already started iterations let the iterations move on the solver is finished now we can see the new particle study particle studies new and we can rename this one as particle study at 20 meters per second particle studies new particle study we can rename this one as particle study at 20 meter per second green check let us start injection it will be 100 numbers of particles with a diameter of point triple not one meter per second as before and instead of liquid it will be 
aluminum particles mass flow rate will be also same uh, like before it will be 1 kg per second let us select that location from which aluminum particles will be collected from here it will be collected go and check now let us run this injection it has run now we can play the injection you can see from these trajectories none of the particles are going out at 20 meter per second okay it is clearly visible we can see from the surface parameters also surface parameters insert and we will see the numbers of particles to be going out from the top surface let us select the location of the top surface numbers of particles show it is showing zero numbers of particles are going out from this top surface at a speed of 20 meter per second next one what we will do we will see at 30 velocity what will be the number of particles going out from the top surface okay let us clear and hide this injection and also surface parameters next we will go for a different study with 30 meter per second inlet velocity edit definition instead of 20 we will make it 30 meter per second let us run this with a new calculation survey is finished we can see the dynamics of flow particles right now and we'll see particle studies particle studies new and we can rename this one as particle study at 30 meter per second okay so let us inject we want to inject 100 numbers of aluminum particles with a diameter of 0.301 meter and instead of liquid it will be solids and aluminum mass flow rate will be same as before 1 kg per second we to select the location from which the particles will be injected from here particles will be injected green check now you can run this particle study and let us see the injection let's play it it is also clearly visible that none of the particles are going out at 30 meter per second now we'll see this one from our surface study that how many particles are going out from the garbage accumulator so surface parameters insert and numbers of particles going out numbers of particles here phase one is already selected phase one that means from the entry location that one we have to clear and we have to select the location from which the particles are going out select it and it is clearly visible that none of the particles are going out so we can show how many particles are going out zero particles are going out from the top surface when the speed is 30 meter per second okay so again we have to go for another iteration maybe we will see at 35 meter per second what is the condition right right okay so let us clear and hide this part injection clear and hide similarly the surface parameters four numbers to be also should be cleared and hidden the last one we'll see uh, we're planning to have the solution to be conducted at the speed of 35 meter per second so inlet velocity will change it from 30 meter per second to 35 meter per second green check let us run this one with a new calculation solver has already started iterations and calculations are going on solver is finished now we see the dynamics of these flow particles particle studies new particle study you can rename this one as particle study at 35 meter per second green check we have to inject this one insert injection we want 100 numbers of particles to be injected from the entry location at a speed of 
35 meter per second and the particles will be aluminium with diameter 0.301 meter and the mass flow rate also will be same like before it will be 1 kg per second we have to select the location for this entry from this location particles will be injected green check now we can run this study now you can see the injection in the form of an animation injection 1 let's play we can see very few numbers of particles maybe one number of particles are going out from this garbage collector we can see this from surface parameters insert surface parameter and we want to see the numbers of particles to be going out from this garbage accumulator numbers of particles and uh, let us clear this space number one and you have to select the first waveform the particles are going out this is the first so show the number of particles which are going out from this space Again, it is showing that number of particles are going out is zero. None of the particles are going out, right? So 35 is also safe. Next one we see at is velocity of 36 meter per second. How many numbers of particles are going out? Okay, at 35, no particles are going out. So we are going this one again and again by manual iterations that can be done automatically also. Let us clear and hide this part, injection, clear and hide this injection and also surface parameters also should be cleared and hidden. Now the inlet velocity you want to make as 36 meter per second. Green check. Let us run this one with a new calculation. Solver window has started iterations. Let the iterations move on. Solver is finished. Now you can see the results and you can see the dynamics of these four particles. Particle studies, new particle study and you want to give this one as name as particle study at 36 meter per second. Green check. Let us inject this one. We are injecting 100 numbers of particles with a speed of 36 meter per second and diameter of this particle will be 0 0.001 meter and instead of liquid it will be aluminum. And the mass flow rate will be also same like before it will be 1 kg per second. You have to select that location from which this Aluminum particles will be injected. Green check. Let us play this one. Particle study is running. Now we'll see the injection. Let's play. You can see clearly that at 36 meter per second, some particles are going out. Right? At 35, none of the particles are going out. At 36, some particles are going out. So we can see here how many numbers of particles are going out from the surface parameters. Insert surface parameter and when you see the numbers of particles to be going out from the top surface so select the top surface let us show it's showing six numbers of particles are going out when the speed is 36 meter per second right so our optimum speed is 35 at 35 meter per second none of the particles are going out so from the results what we got before we can see that at 60 meter per second 26 numbers of particles that means 26 percent of particles are going out and 70 four numbers of particles are accumulated at the bottom surface and that's next case when the inlet velocity of this particle was 40 meter per second in that case 13 numbers of particles were going out that means 87 percent particles were being accumulated at the bottom surface and when the velocity is 36 meter per second in that case we can see six numbers of particles are going out from the top surface that means 94 percent is being accumulated and 6% is being going out. So from these studies we can confirm that our optimum velocity of these particles is 35 meter per second at which none of the particles are going out. Okay. So this is all about our today's particle study in which we optimize the inlet velocity to optimize the accumulation rate at the bottom surface of this garbage collector. Okay. If you like this video please subscribe and share and if you have any kind of doubts please write to me thank you so much for watching this video thank you again bye